today we're going to be taking a little bit different look at BF4. We're going to be playing the CTE servers. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's a community community test environment. That's something that DICE has implemented. So what that does is it they put all the patches in early for this community test environment to see if they're going to be good. So there's a whole different movement speed in this. There's um, guns are different. I know the FAMAS had 31 rounds instead of 26 and it had a lot less recoil. And um, the F2000 has a lot better accuracy and they change a lot of stuff before they actually put it in the patch in the game. There's also a lot of net code changes. But one downside is you have to completely restart so your game uh, gets reset. I still have my other one on the regular Battlefield 4, but I figured, you know, a lot of YouTubers are talking about how, um, alright, sorry about that guys, my fucking screen tabbed out, but what was I saying? I was saying something about, uh, oh yeah, a whole lot of YouTubers are saying how this is, uh, the this is making Battlefield a lot better, that it's, uh, you can tell on this that Battlefield is going to be getting better, that the net code is better and all that shit, so I figured, you know what, why not try it out? and make sure that when I try it out um, I'm recording it at the same time so we can actually see if it's better. Oh wait, hold on. So you have all the guns unlocked it seems, yeah. So you have all the guns unlocked, you just don't have all the levels. Okay, let's see, cause I don't, I'm pretty sure they changed the, yeah they changed the magazine size from the FAMAS back, which I don't know why they did that. Let's try the F2000 though, because I know they changed some stuff for that. That sounds good to me, bros. Let's do it. Holy shit, I'm moving. God damn, man. I move extremely fast. So fast that I am going to have to lower my sensitivity. Okay, no, uh, that's why. The sensitivity is not the same as what it is on mine. I was like, god damn, they changed the movement speed. This might be, this might be something interesting. All right, there we go. Somebody just shot at me. Um, yeah, it feels a little bit more like Battlefield 3's movement. It's not as clunky as Battlefield 4. Oh, look at those hit markers. Those are different too. I need to change my uh, my ADS. Shit, how did I do that? Fuck. Um, video, gameplay, weapon zoom, click button, there we go. That's how I play. I just click it. Click it and go. I feel like it helps me with my accuracy a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna get that LV. 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 I'm gonna get that. Fuck off. Who's shooting me, bitch? Yeah. What do you gotta shoot now? I'm on a motherfucking tank. Where was that pussy ass? There he is. Little dirty skank. I can't shoot up there. Oh, did that motherfucker just try to jump? Oh, there he is. I see you there. Ha 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 ha. You're now. Suck it. That tank saved me though. Cause there was another motherfucker trying to run up on me. Um, so I like the the different hit markers. I've been promoted, hell yes. Let's go get E or B. That's what it is. I see that show us shall be done. We got even teams right now, so. Oh, our team is like destroying them though. I didn't realize the game was already about to end. Why do they have that weird... I guess that's new too, the spotting mechanic. Oh, but a big thing that you can do in this, you can actually lower the brightness of the objectives and stuff. Oh, come on, you little dead skank. Oh, run, bro. Run. I'm sorry. Oh, I saved him. I saved him. Oh, ran over that mine still. Oh, no, that's a tank, isn't it? There we go. Shit. I'm a fucking medic. But yeah, you can actually lower the brightness of, uh, what's it called? All these objectives and shit so you don't get all that screen, uh, that screen clutter. Like, say there was a guy right there. See how it fades away now? How cool is that? Oh, you were about to die, bruh. 
you're about to die. So, um, so far so good. Obviously, it's not. That was what like three minutes. That's a little hard to judge it by. But um, let's jump into another match and see what it's like. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So after about four or five hours of continuing to play on the CTE server, um, I ended up really fucking liking CTE. Um, unfortunately, this footage here is not actual CTE footage. This is just a uh, vanilla battlefield. Uh, it's actually really hard to get some footage on CTE because the servers are so limited. Literally, the whole time I was playing, there was only one populated uh, North American server. So it ended up being with some some rage. My team was just getting dominated pretty much the whole time, and I didn't want to upload some videos on that. But this is how you know it's good because even though I was getting my ass whooped by the other team and my team was just getting dominated, I was still able to see that there are major changes in the game, in the vanilla game, and um, major changes in the net code as well, which is the biggest reason. It feels so much different. It feels when you actually shoot someone, you feel like you're actually doing that damage to that person. It's not like in, uh, in Battlefield 4 where you hit someone a million times, you even see blood go out of them and then they don't even die they just kill you somebody else kills them and then it doesn't even show that you get an assist for it it acts like you just haven't done any damage or you're shooting somebody and they just end up fucking killing you anyway or a kill trade all that shit i think the entire time that i was playing cte i got maybe no not maybe i got two kill trades two kill trades out of five hours worth of um of gameplay which considering about how many kill trades you get in battlefield 4 um, vanilla game that is extremely good two kill trades is not bad at all and and both of those kill trades um, it seemed like it was it was fair kill trades you know i was actually just shooting we were both shooting at the same time or there was a grenade or something it wasn't like like battlefield 4 is now you kill someone and then a second later they fucking die as well, or you die as well, stupid shit like that. And here's the big thing, I never got shot behind a wall, not fucking once. That is awesome to me. Um, all the changes that they seem to be doing are really good. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, the movement speed is the movement speed of Battlefield 3. It's actually the exact same movement style as Battlefield 3. So that's good, it feels a lot uh, more smooth than Battlefield 4 has ever felt the smoothness in that and a lot a big thing that I also really like is the HUD clutter as you can see in this all these bright ass little objectives you can see all my squad mates you can see the the bright like C flag all that shit it's just sitting there and it's super bright you can actually adjust all that shit in CTE you can actually adjust it to where it just turns it completely off if you want to or you can make it to where it's it's um, you can change the opacity so it basically makes it to where it's really uh, easy to see through so if there's an enemy behind it you can make the enemy uh, orange names even brighter than what they normally are so that'll really stand out when you see something uh, which is really cool all these changes I think are just really fucking badass I the only thing that's bad about this is that it took dice almost an entire year to be able to fix this game to be honest with you Battlefield 4 the CTE feels better than what Battlefield 3 did and this is going back I mean everyone was complaining about Battlefield 3 netcode when Battlefield 3 was out and now Battlefield 4 is out and everybody realizes how good they had it in Battlefield 3 I'll honestly say that Battlefield 4's netcode when this patch comes out as long as they do exactly what they did for the CTE server um, it's gonna be better than Battlefield 3 uh, now map wise that's not going to change the maps are still the same so if you don't like the maps that's not going to do anything but the game feels smooth it smells it feels uh, punchy when you hit someone it actually feels like you're hitting them and you're fucking people up it's awesome and I think this game is going to be really good like I said the biggest thing though is just that it it took them so long to actually do this which which sucks but I hope you guys if you already have Battlefield really do check this patch out it's going to be coming out in september all these patches are going to be rolling out i don't know if it's going to be one big patch 
or if it's going to be multiple little patches in September. But be looking out for that because I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Not this good. is going to make the game feel completely different. No more dying behind walls. No more of that bullshit. Your bullets are going to hit people, and it's going to feel nice. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, let me know what you think of Battlefield and the CTE server. Let me know if you like and enjoy these Battlefield uh, videos as I get a little trade right there. But that was a common trade. That's because my ship was on fire. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to do all that other shit I already said. But, uh, I'll, guys, I will check you out in the next one. Bye. Carrier is Zelda's first of all, one of my favorite game modes, though.